Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals, where we have been asked to find the area of region which is enclosed between the curves given. And if I talk about the question, we have taken this up from the year 2023 of JWD mains. And in this question, we have been asked to find the area of the region which is enclosed between the curves given by x and y, where it is told to me that x square is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to mod of x square minus 2. So this is the curve given and further we have been given one more curve that tells us y is greater than or equal to 1. So we need to find the area of the region which is enclosed between the curves given and there are four options also given to us. First is 4 by 3. 4 root 2 plus 1. Second option given to us is 3 by 4. 4 root 2 plus 1 again. Third option given to us is 4 by 3. 4 minus 1. And the last option in this case which is given to us is 3 by 4. Take the 4 root. We need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct area of the region which is enclosed between the two curves. Let's first of all Simplify this idea and find the common region which is enclosed between these curves given to us. So first we have been told y is greater than or equal to x square. So if I compare this idea with y equal to ax square plus bx plus c, I understand that if I remove the inequality it becomes y equal to x square. So if I compare it with this, so if I remove the inequality I get the curve as y equal. So if I compare it with y equal to ax square plus bx plus c from here I get it. a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0. c is equal to 0 tells us y intercept means your parabola or the curve which is given to us that intersects y axis at the origin and because a is 1 you have a u shaped parabola. So your parabola will do something like this. And when it is given to me y is greater than or equal to x square. It means it is above this parabola. So the region for the first area that is given to us is above the parabola. Let's find the other. We have been also given that y is less than or equal to mod of x square minus 2. So when y is less than or equal to mod of x square minus 4, I understand y is less than x square minus 4. And it has to be greater than or equal to. If I remove the mod sign here, I get this plus and minus. So it becomes minus or x. So I understand why in this region it's present between the two parabolas which is present. Let's plot those two parabolas. One is minus x square plus 4. And the other curve is x square minus 4. So if I compare these equations with ax square plus bx plus c. Here I understand a is 1 for the parabola and c is minus 4. And for here, this parabola a is minus 1, c is 4. Now let's plot these ideas. So if I have, let's say this is y and x axis. This is c equal to minus 4 means your parabola is intersecting at 0 comma minus 4. And because A is 1, you get a U-shaped parabola like this. This curve also, if I plot it, it's told to me C is 4, means your parabola is intersecting somewhere at 0. And because A is negative, you get an inverted U-shaped parabola like this. So this is your two parabolas, and we know Y is between them. So the common region for this two parabolas is Y between them. So let's merge these two ideas first. So if I merge these two ideas and draw the curves. So this is your y.
Now here we know that the force curve which was given to us is y equal to x square. So that was intersecting somewhere here. And your parabola would be so this is your curve y equal to x square. Now we also had one more parabola that was intersecting at 0 comma minus 4. So if I draw that parabola, this was touching somewhere at 0 And again, it was a shaped parabola. And the other curve which was given to us here is intersecting somewhere at 0. Now from this, if I draw the common region till now, so till now I understand the common region. Here it was telling it is present between the two curves and here it is telling it is above this parabola. So the common region I understand till now for this curve has to be this region. But we need to identify one more common region here. But before identifying that, let's first find the intersection points of these two parabolas, which is given to us. So this parabola was y equal to x square minus 4, and this parabola is y equal to x minus 4. So I want to find intersection points of these two parabolas, which is y equal to x square and y equal to minus x square. So since both of the left hand sides are equal, if I equate the right hand sides, I get 2x square equal to 4. I get x square equal to 2. x becomes plus minus root 2. So from here, x becomes plus minus root 2. And if I find out y here, that is square of x. So that makes it plus minus root 2 the whole square. That is, if I get this in the first quadrant, x and y both positive. So this coordinate becomes minus root 2. So you get these two coordinates. Now we have been given one more curve. Let's plot that as well. So we have been given one more curve that tells us y is greater than equal. So y greater than equal to 1, if I remove inequality here, becomes y equal to 1. y equal to 1 is a straight line, which is parallel to x-axis. And since y is greater than equal to 1, it has to be above this region. So above this region and the common region present with this region, I plot that. So now I get this common region as above this line y equal to 1 and between these two parabolas. So that is our common region here. Now once I have the common region, I need to find the area of that region. So if I just draw the curves that I have here, here we know the value of y is 1. Here also the value of y is 1. We don't know x, but we don't need that also. If I'm taking the horizontal strip here, let's first plot that shaded region that we have. So if I just plot the shaded region, I have a straight line. I have this curve y equal to x square. That is in pink. So I'll draw it in pink. And I also have one more parabola that is in orange, that is y equal to minus x squared. So this is the entire region that we need to figure out. And if I also draw the y axis, which is this is somewhat our y axis. Now we need to figure out this entire region. So what I understand is this y axis is actually dividing your entire region into two symmetric parts. So if we just figure out the right hand side portion of the region and multiply it by 2, I get the whole region that is present here. So area of the region, I understand it's nothing but 2 times of area of the region on the right half here. So let's find the area of the region on the right half. And area of the region on the right half here, if I find it out, let's do that. So area of the region showing it in a purple shaded region. So we are just figuring out the area of this right inside part of the region that is there. Let's find that out. 
So this curve was y equal to minus x square plus 4. This curve is y equal to x square and this line is and this line we know that it is y axis and it is z. Now I just need to figure out the area of this half part of the region. We are just multiplying by 2 to get the area of the entire region. So if I just remove this shaded portion now, understand how to find the area of this region, I can just find the area of the region by dividing this region into two parts. So we'll find the area of this region and we'll find the area of this region. So to find the area of this region, if I draw a horizontal strip, where it is telling me that y goes from 1 to this point, which was what? So this line is y. So we know here, integral area is given by either x1, x2 in the limits and f of x dx, that is y. Or I can also write it as y1 to y2, f of y which is x. Now let's find that. So here if I write it in terms of function of y, x as function of y here. So for the first horizontal strip in the lower region that we have, y we know the limits go from 1 to 2. So y equal to 1 to 2. And this curve which is present, it is going from y equal to x square. But if I write it in terms of function of y, then y equal to x square is present. If I take the square root on both sides, I get x as root of y. So if I want to write it in terms of x dy, x is nothing but root of y minus x is equal to 0. So root of y dy, this is our first region. Now, if I want to figure out the upper region, again, I'm taking a horizontal strip where y is going from 2 to y equal to, y is going from 2 to 4. And again, you are having x as a function of y into y. So if I have that function, we already know y is minus x square plus 4. So x square becomes 4 minus y and x becomes root of 4. So you get this region as root of 4 minus y. So now this gives you the entire region. Multiplying it by 2 gives us the resulting region which is R square. Now let's just solve this integrals and we get the values. So 2 times of integral of root y that is integral of 1 to 2 y raised to half dy plus 2 to 4 4 minus y raised to half. If I solve this further, I get this 2 y raised to half. So integral of x raised to n dx is given as x raised to n plus 1 y raised to half. If I use that idea, I get your y raised to half plus 1. So y raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. The limits go from 1 to 2. And the next idea I, I have here is 4 minus y raised to 3 by 2 or 3. Here we have the limits going from 2 to 4. If I further solve it, I get this 2. This becomes 2 by 3. 2 raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to 3 by 2 plus here you get 2 by 3. 4 minus 4, so 0 raised to 3 by 2 minus 4 minus 2, so 2 raised to 3 by 2. Now when I am taking the integral here, I need to take care of the signs also that integral of 4 minus y raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2, we have got it when we have considered 4 minus y as x. So when we are considering 4 minus y by x, 4 minus y as x, we have to divide by the coefficient of y also. So dividing by the coefficient of y, you have to multiply or divide by minus. So because of that minus, your middle sign in the next expression should change to become nature of plus minus. Now let's just solve this idea and get the region there. So 2 times 2 by 3, I can just take out common from the two terms that I have. 
here I get it. 2 raised to 3 by 2. So 2 raised to 3 by 2 is nothing but 2 raised to 3 that is 8. And square root of 8 is 2 root 2 minus 1 minus 0 plus again. So from that I get 4 by 3 here. Here I get 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 that is 4 root 2 and minus 1. So you get 4 root 2 minus 1 multiplied with so you get this area of the region for which the curves are presented to us. And if I see the answer that matches here with the question, that is option C. So C is the correct answer for the question which is given to us here. C is the correct option for the area of the region which is enclosed between the curves. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with finding the area of the region between the enclosed curves. So we just plotted the curves here. We found out the common region between the two curves and the line which is given to us. Then we just figured out the area of the region which was double of the region present on the curves. So we took two horizontal strips. We got two different regions. We figured out the area of the region between the integrals. And we got that area as 2 by 3. I hope you have understood this. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWTs. So stay tuned for the questions to roll out. Also do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos also with your friends who are involved in this preparation of JWT journey. Thank you.